Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So what's up in Japan? Pretty exciting stuff for Pokemon fans as we are already getting information about a new Pokemon movie slated for July 13th of 2018. It's been circulating around the internet and I'm sure a lot of you have already seen it and caught your eye because it looks absolutely nothing like what we've seen before. In fact, when I first saw glimpses of it, I actually thought it was some sort of fan art until I looked a little deeper and realized it was as official as official can be. For those of you who haven't checked out the trailer yet, I have it linked in the description below, so check it out and come back. But back to topic, as far as I know, I think almost every single one of the Pokemon movies prior to this coming one in 2018 has been made by OLM, who is responsible for making all the main Pokemon anime series, from the first one up to the current one with Sun and Moon. So to see OLM pair up with another studio this time around for a movie release is quite shocking. And what's even more shocking is that they've decided to pair up with Studio Wit, who is the studio that animated Attack on Titan, Cabinary of the Iron Fortress, and the more recent Ancient Magus Bride. All big titles, but they don't exactly feel like titles that a Pokemon series would want to emulate. And having Ash just recently gone through a huge art change in the Sun and Moon anime, it seems like a bit soon to introduce yet another look to the Pokemon crew, but after looking at the little that we got in the trailer, I would have to say I'm actually kinda digging the new art style, and I think there's a good reason they want to go for a different art style in the upcoming movie, which I'll get into right now. So first of all, this is definitely going to be a continuation of the separate canon that started in the Pokemon I Choose You movie, where Ash's journey at the beginning differed than the original Pokemon anime. Misty and Brock never traveled with him in this universe, and instead was accompanied by two entirely new characters that we haven't seen before. If we are to get a continuation of this canon where Ash has a completely different journey than he did, what better way than to differentiate itself by having a completely different art style? Some of you may be wondering, well, why didn't they do that the first time around with Pokemon I Choose You? They were still probably testing the waters at that point to see how audiences would react to such a reboot of the original story, and now that it seems like most people actually enjoyed the movie aside from the crazy Pikachu talking part, it seems like they've decided to keep developing in this direction. So in this 30 second short, we get a quick glimpse of Ash's new look. Pikachu doesn't change much from the original style from what we can see here, but as for Ash, as all of you can already tell, he is drawn in a completely different style. Everything feels a little more detailed and Ash's hair, does he have curly hair now? And his eyes, it almost feels like we're looking at a different character now. We also get a glimpse at a new character who looks like she has some sort of rainbow hair and seeing how the previous movie was about ho there is a high probability that this girl is somewhat related to our rainbow themed legendary or may even be an incarnation of ho but there is an even better clue as to what this movie is going to be about that many of you probably didn't catch the first time around. At the end of the Japanese trailer, a theme starts to play in the background, and you can go back to it to see if you recognize it now, but that theme is actually the theme of Lugia from the Pokemon 2000 movie. The theme itself is based on Lugia's cry which has the power to calm the three legendary birds, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno if aided by the Chosen One. We also see in the Ash montage, he's right next to the sea, and the camera dives around as if we're in the body of a flying Pokemon in the trailer, and we all know that Lugia is the guardian of the seas. So the movie is definitely going to be centered around Lugia this time around, and I'm pretty excited to see all the old Pokemon drawn in the new art style that we have here. I mean, anything is better than this right now for all you haters out there of the Sun and Moon art, but for me, I've actually grown to enjoy the weird art style for the Sun and Moon anime, but I also really like the new art even though we haven't really seen much of it yet. This art style does feel better for a more serious story, and seeing how OLM has enlisted a generally more mature style studio to collaborate on this project, I think it's safe to say they're definitely targeting an older audience here, which means we're also most likely going to get a more mature slash complex plot. There's still 8 months before the actual release, so there's tons of time for them to drip out information. But I for one am really excited for the new direction the Pokemon movies are going in. Anyways, what did you guys think of Ash's new look and this upcoming Pokemon movie for 2018? As usual, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to drop a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to be updated with the latest that's going on in Japan. And I'll see you guys in the next one.